What up, world? How are you guys doing? I'm doing fairly well. Kind of well. Not that well. Sort of well. But whatever. The wellness would be better if they didn't short me a hash brown. That's where I'm starting here today. This is going to be a very raw, rugged, uncut, Clark Kented, new framed idea of a mukbang mukbang. Uh, I will say this, I'm not going to go about some, you know, cutting boards and plates and whatnot. I'm going to do this dirty and raw. It's McDonald's. It's late in the morning. Yes. I'm on one a little bit. And shout out to those who, in the last video that I posted about me being on one, were like, I like you in your kind of funny drunken vibe, like your cute drunken vibe. I'm about that. Thank you so much for being supportive of me getting a little tipsy in the summertime. And uh, that's the truth. It is the summertime. I do party. We'll have a little convo about that. But immediately, I guess what we have to acknowledge is what do we have to eat? And to eat, we have a sausage and egg McMuff, two breakfast burritos, and I was supposed to receive three hash browns, but I only got two, so I get it. It's early. They were busy. I'm not going to be too hardcore about it. I did do my due diligence of complaining on Skip the Dishes. In nature, though, as a human being, when I get slighted like this by fast food, I think it probably comes from the fact that I've worked in the service industry a lot in food, and I know that mistakes can be made, and I just feel like I'm not the guy to raise an issue a lot over, like, my hash brown. It's like, it's 69 cents, I get it. I got screwed out of what I was supposed to get, but it's just human error and I just it's more trouble for me to care about that stuff than it is to just not eat it and it's probably realistically better for my waistline now that being said this will be fine for my waistline because it's in my fasting window but McDonald's hot sauce is the absolute truth or not hot sauce I should say um Salsa. Absolute truth. And I'll tell you this on the breakfast menu. It is certainly my favorite item is the breakfast burrito with the salsa. Hundred percent. bottle of water of course in my eating self these days you guys know I don't really partake in sodas or juices or anything too often I just keep it water I just if I'm gonna eat dirty food I just feel like I don't need sugary drinks oh my god this is so good I just think sugary drinks are like the double whammy. It's like, I'm going to eat bad things already. Might as well just have some water. Also, I just prefer water. into a hash brown sector. I do wish I had ketchup. Also, I guess we haven't acknowledged the fact that I have these weird glasses on. Uh, they're new. I ordered them. I'm completely unsure about them. 
in my head I low-key feel like they, they're not good. Let me rephrase that. They're not not good, they're just not what I thought they'd be. I'm going for a new aesthetic. I like glasses. I usually look pretty good in glasses, many various forms. But I wanted to get a uh, a clear framed, clear lensed glasses. But I ended up with a clear lensed Migos Flow Gold with a tortoise shell which is cool and fine with me I'm into it to some degree I just don't know that they're perfectly suitable and uh... it's okay I'm sure you guys are gonna chirp me that's fine I'm just trying to find a little a little swag that suits me. Also, when it comes to these things, McMuffins, it's all about the sausage. Screw the bacon, don't worry about it. Usually I would put some mayo on it, but since I got the salsa out, I will salsa it. But yeah, I'm just playing around with like styles with myself, seeing what works, what doesn't, and I think these don't exactly work for me, to be honest, well, as I look at them in the mirror. They're whatever, they kind of make me look a little, a little hilarious. I don't know why. Also, Hidden Valley, like, can you not just do your thing and be... A cooperating member of the team. It's so sad, said Al. Um, but I will say this. Well, I guess you guys are going to see it in the vlog that I did. You'll probably see the vlog after this video, because what I talk about in the vlog is how vlogs are very time-consuming. and Not difficult, but... Just a harder vibe, like a harder video to make. But I go very into detail on that in the in, in the vlog. In the vlog, I go out to Toronto Island. And I show you guys the city from the island, the skyline. So stay tuned for that. Also, look at this. This is banging delicious. Cannot front. So that's what I did today for you guys. I when I got when I left the house today. Packed my life in a bag and I went and vlogged. Once again, as per usual, met some funny people out on the island, um, two of which were these like cute, I don't know, 23, 24 year old girls traveling from the UK, from Bristol, and uh, kind of had a vibe with them. 
but they had to fly out to Vancouver in the morning. Once we got back to the mainland, we totally parted ways, but I definitely tried to like hang out with them further. But it was also like 11 o'clock at night and they had to fly from Pearson at like 6 a.m. to go to Vancouver. So I respect their dedication to the cause. After that, I continued to go out and just be my normal weirdo self. Once again, met some more people and then ended up in this random, random conversation with these guys. We're talking about, you know, deep life meaning shit. And somehow we ended up at music and then the one dude's like, My studio is literally across the street and behind this building. And I was like, oh, where? And he like said the name, like, oh, like my boys always record there and shit. And he's like, who's your boys? I'm like, da da da. He's like, oh, I know them. And then he goes, do you know so and so? I'm like, yeah, of course. I know. Like, I've known him for like seven years. Or, yeah, like seven, uh, yeah, about seven years. And he goes, he's in the studio right now cooking. Like, he's like in, like, we have each our separate studio. And I'm like, well, I'm like, Let's go over there. Like, we have a vibe. And I was like, I do music and shit. Like, let's... Let's go mess around in the studio. And he's like, for sure, come over. So, that was at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then I went to the studio. And... I won't insert the clip in here, maybe I'll do it in the vlog or some other way, but me and this guy, we just, we ended up cooking up like a track of mine that I had like sitting in my pre-written realm of ideas. So if I'm being super transparent with you guys, it's actually like 9.30 in the morning right now, and I was in the studio all night <laughs> with this dude just cooking up this track. So, it was sounded pretty cool. Less auto tune -y, less auto -tune -y bullshit, more polished, because this guy's like a G on the... Uh, on the mip. So, yeah, I just parted ways with him at like 8.30 a.m. And uh, now it brings me to you guys, brings me here. So I'm pretty stoked on what happened in the studio and just like the day and the night that I had in general is a like very once again spontaneous and fun and just full of brand new humans like that's my whole that's like the trending theme of my life it was just brand new humans I'm super cool with it. I'm down with the whole what's happening vibe in my life, I guess. Oh my god, cold water. It's so weird. You eat delicious food. It's amazing. Then you drink some cold water. <laughs> 
it can't even be it can't even be compared to it's like thirst over food is like easily detrimental like I don't even know, know what that means but to me it means that like hydration is key food is negligible but both are amazing but I'll say it's just it's it's when you're thirsty like food doesn't even compare to like thirst when you actually quench that shit so anyways until the next one in my Clark pants eat good live well stay a true